I'm going to talk about recurrent shoulder dislocation. This is a condition where the shoulder, which is a ball and socket joint, pops out regularly, which can occur either due to injury, that is trauma, or due to neurological imbalance. Injury is the most commonest reason and it can occur in any age group, but most commonly in younger age group, usually less than 25 years, and in older age group, usually more than 60 years. If it occurs in younger age group, the most commonest reason would be tear in the ligament which you see in the MRI scan as a bank heart lesion. If it occurs in elderly patient, it is mostly due to muscle tear. We call it as rotator cuff tear. How to manage this? Now, it is a recurrent problem which means it's going to occur again and again whenever you lift your shoulder up. It's like undressing or removing your waist or when you're trying to wash your hair or when you're trying to hold the handlebar when, while traveling in a bus. Those conditions, the shoulder may easily dislocate. If it dislocates regularly, it will cause damage to not only the ligaments but also to the bone and lead to what is called as arthritis that is wear and tear in the joint. So in order to prevent this, we have to subject the patient for an intense physiotherapy that is exercises and definitely the patients need surgery. In younger patients, if it is a ligament tear, it needs arthroscopy and ligament repair. In elderly patients, if it is found to be a muscle tear, which is also called as a rotator cuff tear, we may have to do an arthroscopy and repair the muscles. If done properly, followed with a very good proper rehabilitation, the patient will get back to the pre-injury level as early as three months. For more information on treatment options, get in touch with us. You may also subscribe to our channel and receive regular updates.